Hi, I'm Dawn with Drucker Diagnostics, and today we're going to review the basic operations of your DashFlex 12 centrifuge. If you're looking for something specific, take a look at the bottom of your screen. This video is divided into chapters so you can easily find what you need. DashFlex 12 Basic Operations Guide, Part 1 Setting Up the DashFlex 12. Let's start by making sure we have all of the accessories that we need. These accessories came out of the small brown box that was packed in with your DashFlex 12. You should have your tube holders, your cord, and your centrifuge itself. If you're missing anything, please contact Drucker Diagnostics. Now, let's put our centrifuge on a flat, sturdy surface. Make sure that you have at least six inches or 15 centimeters of clearance on either side and 21 inches or 54 centimeters of clearance above so that you can open the centrifuge. Next, locate the centrifuge power cord and turn the centrifuge so that the back is visible. You will need to plug one end of the power cord into the back of the centrifuge. Then plug the other end of that power cord into a wall outlet. Make sure that that wall outlet is easily accessible because this is the emergency disconnect and also you'll need to unplug the centrifuge anytime you need to perform cleaning or some maintenance. With your centrifuge plugged in, look at the back of the centrifuge again and locate the power switch. Switch this on. Now when you turn your centrifuge around, you should see the displays illuminated. Your centrifuge is set up and ready for your first cycle. Your DashFlex 12 arrives from the Drucker factory with the safety lid lock engaged. You'll need to unlock this before you can access the centrifuge rotor and run your first tubes. In order to unlock the lid, you simply need to press the stop unlock button. Don't worry about the rest of these controls. We'll review what they do in just a moment. Once you press that stop unlock button, you will be able to open the lid by pressing down gently on that lid latch and turning it a quarter turn counterclockwise. Gently lift the lid open. You will see the rotor inside. Your DashFlex 12 arrives with the rotor already installed. Nothing additional to do here. We will need to put our tube holders in before we can run our first spin. To do that, simply settle each tube holder gently into the rotor. The tube holders, when placed in, will be at a 45 degree angle, but once the centrifuge runs, they will lift up into a nice horizontal spin. You will want to make sure you always place all 12 of the tube holders in your DashFlex 12. Once your tube holders are in, your centrifuge is ready to go. You can run your first load of tubes. Your DashFlex 12 has only authentic Drucker parts, including the rotor and tube holders. You should only use authentic Drucker Diagnostics parts in your centrifuge, as anything else may damage the centrifuge or even be dangerous. Now that we have our DashFlex 12 set up, we can take a look at our controls. Part 2, Controls Overview. Your DashFlex 12 has all of its controls right here on the front panel, the RPM screen, which displays the currently selected speed in RPMs. The RPMs can be adjusted using the buttons next to this screen. A single press up increases by 50 and a press down decreases by 50. As we adjust, the RPM shown on the screen will adjust as well. If you overshoot or undershoot your desired RPM, you can use the buttons to adjust back to your original desired mark. The RCF XG button displays the G-force in the RPM window. If you press and hold the RCF XG button, you can adjust by G-force using the buttons next to the RPM display. The three indicator lights show the status of your DashFlex 12. The left light is illuminated when it's running. The middle light is illuminated when the lid lock is engaged. The lid lock automatically engages when the centrifuge runs. So anytime the left light is illuminated, 
the middle one will be too. And the right light shines when the lid is unlocked. The lid will automatically unlock at the end of the cycle, so you can twist the latch open and remove your samples. It will stay unlocked for 60 seconds, one minute. After that, it will lock again. If the lid is locked, you can unlock it with the stop unlock button. If the centrifuge is running, this button will stop it mid spin. If it's not running, this button will unlock the lid. The start button starts the centrifuge. When you press start, the Dash Flex 12 will run whatever settings are currently displayed on its screens. The time display shows the selected time in minutes and seconds. Like RPM, time can be adjusted using the up and down buttons next to it. The time shown on the screen will dynamically adjust as you raise or lower it. Also like with the RPM, if you overshoot or undershoot your desired time, you can use the up and down buttons to get it back to your desired value. When you start your centrifuge, the time screen becomes a countdown timer, showing how much time remains. Your centrifuge will spin for a little while before the timer starts counting down. That's because the countdown doesn't start until your centrifuge is up to speed. That way, your tubes get spun at the appropriate speed for the appropriate time. The brake setting controls whether brake will be applied as the centrifuge slows down at the end of each cycle. Brake can be set from zero, no braking at all, to nine, maximum braking. To adjust braking, press the menu button to enter the advanced menu. Brake should be displayed in the RPM screen. Use the up and down arrows next to the time screen to adjust brake setting. Zero is no braking, while nine is maximum braking. Once your brake setting is as desired, press menu again to exit. The centrifuge will run with the selected brake setting until you change it, or until you load a saved setting with a different brake setting. More on saved settings in a minute. The cycle button switches between saved settings, and the display next to it shows the number of the currently selected cycle. A dash means you have no saved cycle selected. Your Dash Flex 12 can save up to 10 cycles. It arrives with three pre-programmed cycles already set for your convenience. A saved cycle is a combination of RPM, time, and brake values stored in system memory for easy recall later. The system automatically assigns each one a number, visible in the window next to the cycle button. The centrifuge will automatically name the cycle as well, MEM4 for the first one, MEM5 for the second, etc. We can create a new saved cycle by adjusting our centrifuge as desired, and then pressing and holding the cycle button. And those are your controls. Now, let's look at how to load your Dash Flex 12 and spin your first samples. Part 3, Spinning Samples. When loading the Dash Flex 12 or any centrifuge, it is important to make sure you load the samples in a way that keeps the rotor balanced. Loading balanced samples helps keep the lab safe and ensures the maximum lifespan for your centrifuge. Step 1. Make sure that all 12 tube holders are properly seated in the Dash Flex 12 rotor. They do not snap into place, but should be seated one per slot in the rotor. Step 2. Load your samples. When loading your samples, opposing tube holders must be of equal weight, as shown in the diagram on your screen. So, if we're loading two tubes, just put them across from each other. If it's three, make a triangle. Four, a square and so on. If you're spinning an odd number of tubes, you'll need a counterbalance tube. This should be an identical tube filled with an equivalent volume of water from the tube across from it. The counterbalance should be roughly the same weight as your filled tube. With your samples properly balanced, you are now ready to close the lid and spin. Next, adjust your settings. You can adjust RPM and time using the arrow buttons next to the display windows. For a more detailed guide, click the link on your screen. In our case, we're going to run 5200 RPM for three minutes, 
but you can run whatever settings you like. Once you're done programming, double check your settings. Next, press the start button. The centrifuge will automatically lock and the rotor will begin to spin, accelerating until it reaches your selected RPM. It will then run for your chosen time. You can see time remaining on the time screen. Once the run is complete, the centrifuge will begin to slow down, applying the rotor brake at the level you selected. When the rotor is fully stopped, the centrifuge will beep and the lid lights will flash to let you know it's done. The centrifuge will automatically unlock. Turn the lid latch a quarter turn counterclockwise and then lift the lid to retrieve your spun samples. And that's all there is to it. You just ran your first cycle. Now, let's look at how you should clean and maintain your DashFlex 12. Part 4, Cleaning and Maintaining. Your DashFlex 12 requires no regular maintenance and cleaning is easy. Start by locating the power switch on the back of your DashFlex 12. Turn it off. Next, unplug your DashFlex 12 from the wall socket. It is important that your DashFlex 12 stay unplugged for the entirety of the cleaning process. Next, make sure that you're wearing any appropriate personal protective equipment as determined by your lab. When cleaning the DashFlex 12, you should only use isopropyl alcohol or 10% 5500 ppm bleach solution. Use of any other material may void the warranty and damage the centrifuge. Do not submerge the centrifuge at any point during the cleaning process. Instead, apply your cleaning solvent to a clean cloth and wipe down the centrifuge and its components. Once you are done wiping down the centrifuge, you should immediately use a clean, dry cloth to wipe off your solvent again. Once you've finished cleaning, you can plug your centrifuge back into the wall and turn it on using the power switch at the back of the centrifuge. Your DashFlex 12 requires no regular maintenance, but you may wish to verify the centrifuge spin speed. To verify the spin speed, you'll need a photo tachometer, like the one shown here. Your lab should have a validated photo tachometer for you to use for this purpose. Next, with your centrifuge plugged in and turned on, start it running on whatever cycle you would like to test. Give it a minute in order for that centrifuge to reach its full speed. You'll know it's at full speed when that timer begins counting down. Next, use your photo tachometer to point down through the centrifuge lid. You'll want the area that is clear where you can see right down to the rotor. The DashFlex 12 rotor has a photo tachometer strip mounted to it, so you won't need to put an additional strip on before you use your photo tachometer. With that photo tachometer pointing down through the lid, you should immediately be able to get a reading. And that brings us to the end of our basic operations for the DashFlex 12. We set up our centrifuge and reviewed its accessories. We reviewed our controls and spun our first cycle. And we learned how to clean and maintain it. If you have any other questions about your DashFlex 12, you can always contact Drucker Customer Service and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.